This is something I wrote a while ago and I am reposting it by a special request. Slow Burn Your spark refused to light, though you managed to mar my chin with your whiskers while our mouths ardently pressed together in a desperate attempt to drink each other's souls. Your hand cupping my face delicately, the other tangling in my hair, grasping, releasing, grasping to the rhythm of our tongues dancing as you guided my head down to rest on the pillow and raw emotion bubbled like a spring across my face. We rocked like a pendulum back and forth back in our attempt to satiate the flameless fire. When you were gone, I ran to the chair where I sat when I first saw your match waiting to strike against silent heart strings. I ran to escape the hollow echo of repeated drags against your sandpaper heart. I wonder why you couldn't feel it, the sultry warmth which lingered in the background on the verge of takeoff into an inferno. Is it you have been burned, tossed out by a woman as carelessly as a cigarette into a puddle of gasoline, combusting a flame that died as quickly as it started, leaving behind thick scars dull to touch, sensitive to heat? Or have you never been warmed by the light of a lover without pretense or judgment? There is no amount of ice or salve that will douse this slow burn which penetrated my skin and traveled beyond sight, tissue, and bone to the center of my mind, churned and dissolved into little pieces of you which caught stream into my life and flowed to my lips, my eyes, fingertips, flowed peacefully and directly into my heart. I thought you could feel it. When our gazes locked in cozy silence, or my touch brushed the horse hairs on your arms, hear it in my labored breath as we climbed the precipice of our last beautiful moments. You must not have noticed my spark. I recognized yours, desired only to be your kindling, help build a strong steady flame, and in return have the wind of your breath fan mine 